guys, it's pop-up shop day. It's a very gloomy day here in Hoboken, New Jersey. Um, as you can see, it's raining. It rained all night. Um, it wasn't like a big storm or anything, kind of just rained. And it's supposed to stop in about two hours and setup is in one hour. So hopefully this all disappears and we can have a nice sunny pop-up shop day. Everything's packed up. I'm waiting for my mom to arrive so I can load up the car and we can drive over. It's about like 10 blocks away. It's like not that far, um, but it's to the back of Hoboken. So it would have taken way too long to take all my stuff over with just my little wagon. So my mom's helping me out, which is very nice. And my fiance Josh is also helping. Also very nice of him. Let me show you the chaos that is my room. All right, got the canopy tent out here. It's normally in this corner. I actually have two canopy, canopy tents. That's another one that I use. I'm going to use this one today because I haven't used it in a while, so I want to try it out. Garment rack is standing up there. This is like a cute bin I use for decor and also to hold up my scrunchy pegboard, which is on the side there. My banners, like this tall thing. I have three little cardboard boxes full of candles and then my normal two bins. And then all my stuff is inside those two bins. I have my black sandbags there because since it's raining, I think it might be a little windy. So I'm gonna bring some sandbags and it's always just safer to bring those. I have one folding chair here. My mom's bringing another one for her, my big table. And I think that's it. Oh, I should pack up my tripod which is in that corner over there. Other than those things, I also bring a backpack with my personal things, like my wallet, water bottle, extra deodorant, and all my electronics that I need for the pop-up, like my card swipe, an extra battery to charge my phone, and the little card swipe. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I try to pack as light as possible because I hate carrying all my stuff downstairs. I need to pack up the car and unpack and like all of that. Um, but I also try to bring enough stuff where I won't sell out because I don't like when I sell out. That means I could have made more sales if I had just brought more inventory. I posted some vlogs about me preparing for this pop-up shop, but if you didn't watch those, this is an Earth Day pop-up um, here in Hoboken, New Jersey. It's at 770 Jackson Street, which is like a little promenade area. It's hard to describe, but you'll see later. There's a big patio in between a bunch of buildings and we're gonna set up our vendor boots there. It's gonna be a big stage because it's also a folk and bluegrass music festival. It's going from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and there's gonna be a whole bunch of sustainable vendors there. The way I heard about this particular market is that they emailed me because I had already participated in an event in Hoboken and I guess they got the list of vendors from that market and sent it over to the organizers for this event. Last night I received an email that has the table assignments and um, just like how the pop is gonna be organized. They usually will email you a map of where all the vendors are, just so you know like where you'll be near. And um, it's just easier to arrive there and set up as fast as possible. So I'm in like an okay location. It's not my favorite, but <laughs> we'll see how it ends up being. Also, if you don't know me, my name is Monica. I make content about only small business, work nine to five, productivity, lifestyle, and all those fun things. Hope you enjoy. This is my area. Everyone's moving over a little bit because there was not enough space for me. So all my stuff is still kind of like everywhere.
it's all set up and the music's starting so that's pretty unfortunate but I have my mirror here and all my tote bags my mom put this together um yeah I feel like I have a good amount and all my candles oh the sun is hitting them so perfectly right now so I have like my crates bringing these closer up to eye level not exactly eye level but better then I have a bunch of like the core things I want to feature in the front my scrunchy pegboard which is beautiful um, my sister's cup holders or um, mug holders um, I have earrings like not that many earrings but I decided to sell the last few um, and my stickers are back here I'll probably bring them forward and I have to fill out my discount like spin the wheel and there is my banner and it's very loud right now so come back to this While the music isn't going, I'll give a little update. Hopefully you can hear me. There are a amount of people talking around me. It's 11.32 and the market started 32 minutes ago. Um, everything's set up. I've had a few people come through, but no sales yet. Um, but it looks cute. It looks like my normal setup pretty much, but it's um, slightly smaller because I forgot one table. It's okay, my mom, <laughs> my mom doesn't want to be in my videos. Okay, well, there's another pause in the music. Um, I've had five sales so far, and we're about two hours into the festival, I think. Um, I think it's two hours. I'm like trying to find a place to go where people don't feel intimidated to still come to my booth while I'm vlogging. So, kind of awkward. Um, yeah, pretty slow market. There are a good amount of people walking by, but a lot of them are parents with young children, so I'm not the, particularly the brand um, that they're stopping by, but that's fine. It's 2 p.m. Oh, I bet you can't even hear me. Okay, real quick, 2 p.m. I had 16 orders. Um, it's going a little bit better. People are stopping by a little bit more often, but um, still not that crazy. All right, it's 3.22, so I thought I'd give an inventory update. Um, I'm running out of a lot of my candles. I sold out of a lot of the scents. Did okay on scrunchies. Oh my gosh, this music's so loud. Sold a few earrings and also a few tote bags.
trying to get like the content up if you have to borrow it. Yeah, you should do it. It's cool. It's like easy way to get the content. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> It's a few days later. I thought I would do a little recap on the first pop shop of 2023, how it went. A bunch of things I forgot to say, like the day of during the vlog, because I was like caught up in the pop up shop like chaos. I just want to like recap now. I feel like this is my little corner where I do recaps and just like explanations of things that happened throughout the vlog. Uh, this is where I sat when I like explained my engagement video and like a bunch of other like pop-up shop videos so i guess we're just gonna deem this corner the recap corner first pop shop 2023 was so fun it was definitely 
a success in my books. The vendor fee was $100. That's like in the mid area of what I normally pay for pop-up shops. It's definitely worth it. There were about 50 vendors there. Some of them weren't actually selling anything. They were just booths for kids to do activities because it was a very kid heavy event. Some booths were like nonprofits or for different organizations here in Hoboken that they were just like trying to get people to join. And then the area I was at was where all the food vendors were, the craft vendors, um, and people of that sort. A good amount of people came. There were tons of people. I always like have trouble figuring out exactly how many people walk by, but it was definitely a lot. And a lot of them were families. I think I was like trying to explain that um, in person the day of, but there were a lot of families who weren't necessarily there to like buy anything. They were kind of just like walking around. A lot of luxury like high-rise buildings are near there or apartment buildings. So there were a lot of people just like on their daily walks uh, with their dog or with their kids. And a lot of people just like passing through, not really stopping. But then a couple hours into the market, there were a lot more like single people or like people who are not with their families, like groups of friends and things like that coming by and like shopping around, which was really good. I feel like my target audience is generally women ages like 13 to like 40 something around that and obviously people outside of this group can buy from my shop and I encourage them to but that's like generally the audience that I see stopping by my booth so I didn't see too much of that in the beginning but then like as the market went on more of that kind of group of people started coming by oh let me go back to setting up so my mom came she lives about 40 ish minutes away it's always very nice of her to come by and I appreciate it um, but she comes by with her car because I don't own a car and I don't drive really. Um, I don't need to in Hoboken. So she comes by when I do these pop-up shops to help me bring over my ginormous canopy tent and my bins of like inventory, my mirror, and like all these other big items. So that was really helpful. We drove from my apartment to uh, the location of the pop-up, which was like three minutes away. It was pretty close. It was on this like promenade, like park-ish thing <laughs> basically there were like four buildings and this big open space between them there was a stage set up with like musical numbers because it was also the bluegrass and um folk festival i believe the music was really good um some of the best that i've heard at some of the markets i've been to so yeah there was a stage and then there were a bunch of vendors just like lined up along like the patio area when i got to my spot um, someone was actually in my spot, so I had to ask one of the organizers to be like, yo, get them out of my spot. Oh, and the way you know where your spot is, is normally the market organizers will email you the night before or like sometime before the event with, um, like a map of all the different tables or all the different booths that are going to be set up and they number each of the spots. So my spot was number 31, I believe, when I got to spot 31. Um, someone was there so someone had to move them over to their actual spot and um, then I just got started setting up while I was unloading the car um, my fiance helped me which was very nice of him as well and then once we got everything out of the car my mom went and parked the car while we started setting up I would say I set up in about like 40 minutes yeah I think that's like a good guesstimate <laughs> it's usually very easy to set up the big items the canopy the table and just like hang my mirror and things like that but then to get all the individual like pieces of inventory where i want them to be on the tables and around the booth that usually takes a little longer and throughout the whole market i'll keep like nitpicking where i put things and like switch things around um because like i'm indecisive but yeah i would say we got there around 9 40 and then by 10 30 ish 10 45 i was pretty much good to go i was just doing the final touches so by 11 a.m when the market started um i was definitely ready to go and i didn't even feel like we were rushed or anything so that was like a good amount of time for me to set up with one other person helping me with the actual setup and my mom going to like deal with the car so if you're not sure how much time it'll take you i would just allot yourself at least an hour like at least until you know exactly how long it'll take you to put all of your displays together some people it takes like a really long time to put displays up and stuff so definitely give yourself a good amount of time during the market i had so much fun because i haven't done a pop-up since september of last year i love talking to people um and don't get me wrong i was not always like this i was terrified to talk to people and i've gotten so many video requests to make a video on how to 
like converse <laughs> with customers and how to not be scared when they talk to you or how to be like friendly and engaging without like trying to push your products like aggressively onto people um but also while like encouraging them to buy from you so i definitely want to put that video together i think i'll try to do one um sometime this summer hopefully so if you're looking forward to that that's coming it's definitely taking me a lot of practice doing pop-ups like year after year month after month but I've gotten to the point where I look forward to seeing people because I love seeing the reactions to my products and I love hearing constructive criticism from people. And I also really like talking about my stuff low key. Like I worked hard on all of this. I wanna, I wanna tell the world, you know? So I think like another thing that'll help you be more confident talking to customers is just like being really proud of your products and making the best product you can because if that's what you have at your booth you're gonna want to tell the world like you're gonna want to be like i worked hard on this thing and you should buy it because it's pretty amazing and it's the best in the market i usually start feeling tired halfway through the market but for this one i felt okay i had a chair that i would sit in and like force myself to sit in every now and then because in past pop-ups i would just like not sit down and i would get so so tired um i also brought a protein bar which i don't think i showed you but it was like a solid like 400 calorie protein bar that i like just downed at around like 2 3 p.m because i was starting to get a little tired um but yeah i just needed food sometimes it's hard to get an actual meal in during the pop-up especially if it falls during lunch hour and that's like the peak of when people are walking through so i think bars are like the easiest way to go you can bring it from home you don't have to spend too much money on it um so i had like a couple protein bars packed in my bag my mom also offered to go get me food but it was like kind of like chaotic to like fine food at this market um the lines were long and i wanted like a substantial lunch so i ended up not getting lunch at this market which ended up being fine because it ended at 4 p.m which is like pretty early for a market and i was able to get an early dinner i talked to a bunch of people i saw a bunch of people i knew some of my friends came which is always really nice i always like appreciate when people i know stop by because like they don't have to you know i'll see my friends in person when we hang out and i'll like tell them about my shop and yeah like how things are going but like i don't expect them to like come to these things you know like i don't know it's it's just like i just feel so grateful every time i see my friends there and when they come specifically to see me is like so great and there was also some friends that i ran into that weren't there for me <laughs> at all and they were kind of just walking through and glanced at my booth and they were, like they did a double take and they were like wait is that monica <laughs> and that was also really cool because i just love running into people and catching up so i saw a lot of people from college that i knew i also ran into people who follow me on youtube and instagram and just know me from like previous pop-ups that i've done and i love that even more to be honest because i like want to meet you obviously i love interacting with people on social media but it's just like a whole different thing when you meet someone in person and like get to hear from them and know that they care about your brand it's just like amazing so if you're trying to grow your presence at pop shops and like get more people to come specifically for your booth definitely start posting on social media like i know everyone knows this and it's like easier said than done but i was talking to the guy who was like at the booth next to me and he owns a farm or he works at a farm and he was saying like oh are you creating content right now because i had like my huge <laughs> camera just like vlogging and i was like yeah it's like great because i can just post about this and people will show up to my next pop-up in anticipation for that because i like posted that i do pop-ups and like i get to help other people and inform them about like how my pop shop experience is and how they can do better based on like things that i went through he's like yeah you know what that could be a good idea i was like totally like do it and i encourage all of you to do it as well like post on instagram when your pops are post like your advice on instagram and if you want to go even further like start posting some youtube videos i know it's like hard to get started but honestly it's so rewarding and when you meet someone who has like learned from you on youtube or instagram or whatever social media it's like such a rewarding feeling that's all i gotta say about that let's talk about sales finally <laughs> i made about 40 sales that day which is a good amount like for me at least i don't know about all your other brands but when i make 40 sales that's like a good day um and i had a bunch of people 
like pick up candles and say like oh my gosh it's the best candle i've ever smelled and going through all of my candles being like oh i can't choose they all smell so good and then they won't buy anything which is totally fine like literally just them saying that one of my stuff is like really cool to them or like validating different scents that i took like days and days to decide on and them saying like oh this is an amazing scent i'm like yes i chose right <laughs> so on top of like the actual number of sales that i made i feel like almost everyone who came by my booth and like took a look at my stuff had such great things to say about it and that just boosts my confidence so much and is priceless honestly like i don't need them to buy something <laughs> the fact that they are just like hyping me up is so kind and sometimes that's what you need like as a business owner there are times when i go to pop them so i'm like this is the last one i'm ever gonna do i'm so tired nobody buys any of my stuff and i'm just like in that bad mood and then people will come by and just say such positive things about my stuff and i'm like you know what yeah like my stuff is good so even if you just need a confidence booster pop-ups are for you you know how much did i make at the pop-up shop i will reveal this i normally don't but I, I'm feeling like I should be a little bit more open with you all. So I made $1,200 at this pop-up. That's like a decent amount. I've made more in the past at different pop-ups. I've also made significantly less. Um, but considering that the vendor fee was $100 and that I didn't buy any additional inventory, materials, promotional items, or anything for this pop-up because... Um, I just wanted to use what I have and it was like an Earth Day pop-up and I wanted to like not buy anything in honor of Earth Day. That's, that's like a decent take-home pay, you know? So yeah, $1,200, about 40 sales. Um, I took cash, card, Apple Pay, like anything you could think of. Oh, here's a fun story. I made like the worst mistake ever that you could possibly make. Um, <laughs> I decided to update my phone, like my iOS on my phone the morning of the pop-up why would i do that i just wasn't thinking and i just clicked yes on update because my shopify pos app wanted me to update my phone in order to use apple pay and i really wanted to accept apple pay so then i was like oh yeah i'll update my phone and then i was like wait don't updates like sometimes take like hours if the connection is bad and if it, if it was a big update and stuff like that i was like great and now my phone is out of commission the pop-up was starting like literally this was happening at like 10 45 a.m pop-up starts at 11. people are starting to look at my stuff i'm freaking out thankfully the update ended up only lasting maybe 20 minutes so it was like 20 minutes of agony for me i was trying to get the shopify pos app on my mom's phone so i can log in and like use her phone to take orders but i have two-factor authentication turned on on shopify so i logged in and then they were like, okay, we email or we, we texted your phone number, a code, enter it here. I was like, no, my phone is updating. Like I can't receive anything. It was chaos. Anyway, it got sorted out after it updated after 20 minutes and my Shopify POS app accepted Apple Pay. So for most orders, I actually took Apple Pay for the first time ever. And I definitely recommend the Shopify POS app. Shopify in general has like only been great for me. I've n like really not had any negative experiences with Shopify. So like people would tap their phone on my phone and like accept Apple Pay and I was like, whoa, weird. And it would like immediately go through, create an order on Shopify and like say that the funds are available. I was like, wow. Some people do that. Some people use my chip reader. I don't have a tap reader. I actually ordered one, but I think I might return it because now that I accept Apple Pay and my phone also accepts tap, tap pay. What are these things called? Some people would like tap their credit card to my phone and it would accept. Some people tap their phone to my phone. Um, so I might return that like piece of hardware that I just bought that accepts tap pay. And then there were very few people who paid cash, but some people did. And I felt bad because I didn't really have too much change on me because nobody really uses cash anymore so i like haven't prioritized keeping cash keeping um like change in my pocket but i might do that again because it seemed like there were a few people who still preferred cash the two boots next to me were really cute i had a cat shop it was like goods for your cat and goods that have like cats on it for people that was really cool i can't remember the name though if i could find it i'll put it below and then to my right, I had that farm. It's like a family-owned farm. They made hemp 
teas, which was really cool. They had literally everyone stopping by and I was like, good for you. If I could find them, I'll also put them down below. If you saw any of the materials that I have in my vendor booth that you liked or you want, you want to try out, I always have everything linked in my Amazon storefront and anything that's not there, I try to link um, in the description. But feel free to ask like in the comments if there's anything that I missed. I also have a full video talking about exactly every single thing that I have in my vendor booth. I think I might redo that because I'm trying to switch up like some of the things in my vendor booth. So I might make a new video on that as well. And yeah, Overall, this pop-up was like such a positive experience, like only good vibes. It was so gloomy in the morning and drizzling when we were like starting to, to uh, set up. And then as soon as we set up our tent, like blue skies and got so nice out and it was beautiful and they were singing like this land is your land with the bluegrass like festival stage and I just felt like so grateful to be there definitely a 10 out of 10 pop-up experience will do again i have three more pop-ups planned um i usually sign up for pop-ups like as the summer goes on because i don't want to like overcommit, and so i just find that it works better to like plan as i go and sign up as i go yeah then it was 4 p.m i packed up all my stuff my mom brought the car over to the sidewalk packed everything in there and then me and my fiance grabbed sushi because that is our little like ritual that we do every time I am done with the pop-up shop, which is usually on Saturdays or Sundays. We will go to this one sushi place in Hoboken called Yang Tu. It's like our favorite place. And then we grab sushi and that was it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about pop-up shops or like my experience or whatever down below. And I will try to answer all of them as best I can. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>